In the spotlight this morning, the Amazing Race competitors are taking their marks for the 29th race around the world, but this time with a twist. Before hearing go, the, race, the racers must compete in a challenge to determine a teammate, and it's based on nothing but first impressions. Here to explain what we can expect this season's race before tonight's big premiere is host Phil Kogan. Good morning, Phil. Good morning to you, Will. Uh, well, yes, we've been lucky enough to race around the world, what, 29, uh, 28 times, and tonight we start the 29th loop around the world. And we've always had uh, teams in a, in a pre-existing relationship, uh, couples, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, brother, sister, husband and wife, whatever that combination is. Um, it, with this, this season, what we're doing is we're actually taking 22 complete strangers, we're lining them up at the start line, we give them a challenge so they get a a chance to see how each other will perform in a challenge and then we we get them to pair up literally right at the starting line and before they even know each other's names they're a team and they're suddenly <laughs> racing around the world so something we've never done before and the results are I have to say quite entertaining I was watching one of the previews uh, the preview for the show and I heard you say that you've been approached a bunch of times from people who say look I want to be on the show but I don't have anybody to race around the world with this is a great way to do it yeah, it's it's something that uh, people applying have said for many years, and fans have said, well, what would happen? You know, because it's it's hard enough getting on with someone you know, but what would it be like if you were with a stranger? And I got to say, there's a bit of a honeymoon period that takes place with these teams at the beginning, just because they uh, teams are w with a stranger, they they're quite polite for a little while, maybe about oh, I would say about 80 hours before. They kind of just are not as polite anymore. They're more real because they realize, hold on a second, uh, we have a chance to win $1 million. And you know what? You're not going to speak to me like that. And I wouldn't know. This is, imagine, you know when you go to Thanksgiving and there's, there's that uncle that always says inappropriate things. And the only reason that that uncle is at the Thanksgiving dinner is because he's your uncle. Otherwise, you wouldn't normally choose to hang out with that uncle. Well, it's a little bit like that. There, there are teams that are together and they're like, you know, I wouldn't really ordinarily choose to be with you but unfortunately I'm stuck with you we're stuck with each other and if we want to win we're gonna have to find some way to get on now just a couple of days ago we talked with one of the competitors who's from Rhode Island Olive she's a Providence firefighter <coughs> but you also have a lot of police officers a lot of military folks a lot of fire fire um, firemen uh, on the show as well do you think that gives them an advantage because they are so ready for something like this you know, it, it's just totally random that that happened, by the way, because um, somebody said, oh, did you intentionally look for firefighters, police uh, officers, or uh, we, we even have a woman who's in the military, active in the military as an officer. We really didn't. We really just went out to find interesting people. But I think maybe as individuals, they stood out because, yes, they are ready for anything. And maybe that's what attracted us to them as personalities but yeah these are people in the military and the fire department and 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 uh, uh, working for the police department they're, they're people who are ready at a moment's notice to step step up and just get the job done well Phil we can't wait to see that show a lot of Rhode Islanders love it and you can cheer on that Providence firefighter Olive Beauregard in the amazing race which premieres tonight at 10 right here on WPRI 12.